Seth Hammond is a good friend of mine and I've known him since I was about, I'm gonna say nine years old. I met him because he was in my father's car club, which is the oldies but goodies in Santa Barbara. And a few years later, when my dad moved his shop, my dad set his shop up right next to Seth's shop. And as a kid, if I didn't needed to use a mill or a lathe or any kind of equipment that was in a shop, Seth used to let me come over and use his equipment. He had a really cool fabrication shop. And I've been helping Seth on this. It's gonna be a hill climber and also a car that he'll use at the race of gentlemen. But I've been working with Seth for about three years on this project. I've worked with Seth for years on some of his Bonneville cars, but you know, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of history about Seth. Something that most people don't know. Now, the godfather of billet aluminum is considered to be Little John Butera. And one day I was working at Boyd's with Little John and I had known of a hill climb car that Seth had built years ago and he had used built aluminum on it and he anodized it red. This was back in the, the 70s. So I'm working with Little John and I said to him, I said, hey, do you know Seth Hammond? And his head snapped and he looked at me and he says, how do you know Seth? And I said, well, Seth's shop was right next to my dad's shop when I was growing up. And he said, Seth Hammond introduced me to billet aluminum. And the cool story about this, or the cool thing about this is, later when I was with Seth, I said to him, I said, what gave you the idea of billet aluminum? And his shop was right next to another shop, which was a flat bottom race boat shop. And he said, he went over to Kalita Valley Marine and he was looking at the flat bottoms and all the motor mounts were built out of billet aluminum and anodized and some of the other parts. And he thought, that's really cool looking. So he built his first hill climber with all these billet aluminum parts. And Seth, just one of those guys that always builds really cool stuff. And I'm excited to be working on this with Seth. And uh, Seth's planning on racing this car in June. So I've got to have it painted here in the next two weeks, get it back to him so he can get it all assembled. And he's got to start testing it next month. But uh, it's really a, a privilege and an honor to be working with Seth on this. Can't be taking pictures of the guys in the cage. <laughs>
Sweet. I'm gonna spray some uh, base coat clear over this and then sand that. Yeah. Just yeah. spot it and then till it's smooth. Yeah, it's not that bad. This is a genuine Model T Ford frame. And I'm thinking that if Henry Ford could see what we're doing, he would just be amazed. This rolled off of his starting in his assembly line in the 20s. And here we are in the next decade, next century, back uh, doing what we're doing. Pretty amazing. Oh wait, this is not gonna touch this because the body the, the, this, these are going into the tail. Yes. So this will, I'll just hold this right yep. here. You know, I just couldn't stand my name when I was young. Yeah. Oh, Nobody God. likes their name when they're young. I mean, when I was, when I was just like, in grammar school, it was terrible. And when I got to high school, man, I was, it was the bomb. But you liked it then? Yeah. Well, this is Sam's S. Uh, so that's your granddad's S. And then this is my lettering. And then this is my A M M O N D. And then Chip put. I think you kicked the H a little down on mine, on the H, right? Uh, your H's or were curved straight. that way. Okay. And I just curved them that way. Okay. And this is just, I just copied what yeah, you did. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I just, it's so great. I just love the idea that Sam's S is in there. Mm -hmm. I just think that is just the best. I'm actually nervous about using it as a race <laughs> car. It looks like it would be in a museum or in a in a brand new car agency or something because this is a racing car and so since i'm into racing um everything that chips ever worked on for me has been a race car i think you've worked on six five or six different rate of my race cars haven't you yeah yeah and um so uh 
every one of them has just been a little bit better than the one before. And this is no exception, though. No. It's just going to be beautiful when it's all done. It's beautiful now, but when you get all the details on it, like the exhaust system and the wheels and the axles and all that, it'll, it'll uh, accentuate the beauty of the body. So I can't wait to see it all together. And then we've come up with a new idea with the plating, which was a satin plating instead of chrome. So mm -hmm. I think that's really going to... You can see it on the roll bar. Yeah, I think that's the really lower roll bar. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a, a new take that people haven't seen before. Uh, at least in my in where this car is going. This is a vintage time trial car. So um, it, these guys are not going to be used to something this nice for sure. Yeah, so, yeah, any, any, 